Robert Snappers, this is Toy Brother Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pixelmon from the Patreon server. Uh, this is my private server for my uh, patrons of the $5 tier or higher. Um, and uh, right now we are out kind of where we were at the last episode um, because I realized that... Uh, this structure over here, so this is the this was the gym we took on last episode in this little village, and then we found, uh, at the ep end of the episode, we found this other village over here. Um, and at first, I didn't think it had a gym with it, but then I realized that this cool uh, outcropping structure is actually a gym here. Um, I saw it on the on the overview map, and I was like, I saw this in my little mini-map, I was like, well, that's, that's obviously something that's not natural. Uh, and then I took a closer look at this thing here. I was like, ah, yeah, that's obviously <laughs> that's obviously a gym. And so uh, it's a rock gym. Um, I might have to refresh here in a second. Um, it's a rock gym. In fact, maybe let's try. Nope, I'll have to reload because the, there was other people. I can see some, but I don't want to go through what we did with the flying gym and not have any of the NPCs visible. So I'll... Uh, I'll review that here in a minute. But uh, one thing I do want to do, did we check out, were these the people we, okay, um, Sludge Wave, that could be good. Psych, Psych Up Fury Cutter, Water Pulse, Dazzling, ooh, Dazzling Gleam? Oh, I'm buying one of those. Um, yeah. Dazzling Gleam? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, I'm glad we're doing some exploring here. This, there's some cool stuff out here. Um, okay, so. Uh, want to pop in here? I I grabbed myself. You can see my bar here. I grabbed a stack of PCs um, in the creative inventory, and I'm just placing them in all the Pokemon centers I find, uh, because for whatever reason the Pokemon centers aren't spawning with them, uh, and it's kind of a critical Pokemon center component. Um, and I know I gave everybody a PC uh, in their starter kits, but it's kind of dumb that the the random uh, Pokemon centers that spawn don't have them. So as I'm finding Pokemon centers, I'm uh, I'm I'm adding them in here. Um, okay, so I want to take on this Rock Gym, uh, but first off. Um, I want to, I want to go ahead and get, okay, so I want Boots and Elizabeth off the team here. Uh, Noctail's going to come off the team, uh, because it, it scales to the levels or whatever, and so I don't want, like, level 50 people if I don't need to. Um, I guess I keep Heracross, although it's going to make him a little higher level than these guys can handle, but Heracross will at least be useful. Um, alright, and then I wanted to look, um... I did take a look at some of the EVs, and let's see, I think we, it was either Calm or Careful. Yes, no, it was Calm. Okay, so Special Defense and Lowers Attack. I'm not sure why I would want this over, like, lowering Special Attack or something, but um, bec the, the only move that any set ever recommends for Umbreon is... Um, foul play which doesn't use your own attack stat in it at all it only uses the attack stat of your opponent uh, which is why like in the gray version people would be setting up uh, sword dances to take down luna because she has such crazy defenses uh, but then i would turn around and use that against them by throwing up the foul play so um this is calm is the nature recommended for um uh for umbreon so that's what we're going to do here now was it crap was it this one no that one's hardy that one's impish they all look the same. Okay, so it's this one. So we're going to put this thing on the team. It's already level 32, um, so we miss out on a bit of that. But with the move relearners and stuff, we can we can get all that figured out. Do I have... Uh, I don't have a Soothe Bell on me, but I do have one back at, uh, at uh, spawn. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to head on here. And um, I actually want to... I thought I saw Pope Loot or something. Actually, want to let's quickly go in here. Oh, oh. Terror. Oh, we're gonna have to heal now because uh, Woodhammer is gonna do tons of damage to us. Lots of recoil on that one. Um, although I think we've got most of the stuff in our inventory already, so we'll take it. Um, okay. So what I wanted to do was, uh, oh no, do that. Get the cords of this thing uh, so I can uh, put those on the board at spawn, which we might actually go find a spot for. Uh, today as well. Oh, and I need to relog, so I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, there we go. So yes, we reloaded and the NPCs seem to have uh, regenerated here. So, welcome to the Rock Gym. Our gym leader will make you fall. When you think you're done, the battle will have just begun. Alright, uh, fantastic. Let's, uh, we actually need to quick heal because again, that Torterra hurt himself pretty good. 
hurt herself pretty good. Gaia is a uh, a lady Torterra. Let's uh, pop over here, heal up really quickly, and then we will probably trail, trail, trail. let's um let's go ahead and I want to switch Blastoise up. Yeah, all right. So we'll lead off with our shiny new Blastoise, which we evolved from War Turtle last episode. And just kind of let him get some good experience here in the gym. Um, let's do this. Aerodactyl level 52. Right, because we've got uh, we got Heracross. That probably will end up not being worthwhile. It might be more fun for us to just run through this thing Gosh. with um, with Gaia and Blastoise on their own. Um, did not affect Gaia. Let's throw up the uh, wood hammer here. Going to be enough to finish off the Aerodactyl at the very least. Onyx comes in, Geiger to level 44, Earthquake. Torterra. Throws up the rocks, so there we go, using those strats. Onyx goes down, you guys can't we can't really see. Oh, I can actually move the camera though, let me see if I can't. There we go, we can get a little bit of a view here. <laughs> Tiny little peek inside. Uh, throws out the, um, oop, throws out Amistar, let's throw up the wood hammer. Just a lot of recoil damage. We might need to... That's the move that's usually... Ooh, um... Hmm. We can always come We can always come back for that with the move relearners. Um, okay. Yeah, but, but I think probably... In fact, if we see a move relearner, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world um, for us to uh, reteach it Giga Drain or something for the time being. I'd rather have... I'd rather have a move that's going to do a little bit less damage, but give us back some health, than for us to uh, have a move that's, uh, in fact, um, let's put hair across, and in fact, Eevee probably should stay here too, if I'm thinking about it, because if we end up getting uh, in trouble with just these two, I don't want Eevee dying all over, over and over again, because that's not going to help out our, uh... ooh, you know what, this could actually be fun too, hold on, because... It's a high level, but it's scale, so it's level 65. Whoa. We have a water type and a ground type. Um, let's protect, see what it's going to do. Wing attack, okay. I think we can take wing attack. Blastoise took one. Charge. The problem is, it's, yeah, okay. The problem is that it's just too strong for us. <laughs> so if the earthquake, oh yeah, no, that's not going to work at all, is it? Okay, well, thanks, Charizard, for, for your time. I greatly appreciate, in fact, let's, uh, uh, Instead of running back into this Pokemon Center one more time, let's just do this while we're recording. All right, um, back into the gym. Let's see what we can accomplish here because we took down this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and take on this guy. He's got a Gigalith. Um, can I get a decent view of this at all? There we go. All right, Blastoise, Water Pulse. Blastoise. Looks good. Sandstorm is going to buff at us a little bit, but Blastoise has the leftovers, so that's going to work out nicely. Down goes the Gigalith. Uh, in comes the Rampardos there. Uh, Blastoise was buffeted, but not in a, Blastoise to level 41. Nice, nice. All right, Water Pulse does good work there. Oh, 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 what was that? Thunder something. Thunder tackle something. Okay. Earthquake finishing off Rampardos. Lunatone probably is going to have Levitate, so let's get to the Wood Hammer here. Ooh, taking a lot of damage from that. Uh, and it had a Rocky Helmet, so that's that's exciting. Go ahead and poke a heal on ourselves up a little bit. Uh, man, lots of trainers in here. This is awesome. I love the designs of these little, little gyms as well. And it's exciting for me. I When I heard they had added NPC gyms was when I really got excited about getting back into Pixelmon because one of the things that was difficult, like, I, I didn't, I never had any interest in, in doing um, survival Pixelmon again. Um, and and I'm getting getting over that a little bit because the, the, the idea of doing it with patrons was a really exciting idea. But I always had a kind of a draw to get back into doing another adventure map of Pixelmon, which was the first series of Pixelmon I did. It was on an adventure map. The world was built. Um, there was gym leaders and stuff. But the problem with the adventure maps um, was always that, like, it was still, like, a real person who was the gym leader. Uh, and so, like, when I, w I was doing that series with a friend, and um, when when we were doing that series... Like, it, w it became an issue because... Oh, yeah, here we go. We can actually see this, this battle. Um, 
it became an issue because like we could only record like i think we had one like set time where we would record together every week we had like one it was like wednesday afternoons over my lunch and it was like before he went to work because he was on the west coast or whatever it was cluster um if you guys go back and the pixelmon adventures that was that was a fun little series um and uh so but the point was like we only had that one little time slot and so like if the grass type gym leaders were never on during that time slate that we just never got to battle that gym and we always kind of like we would get on to record and then be like well we want to take on a gym today but it's going to kind of depend on whether or not a gym leader gets on sort of thing so um it was it was very difficult to do a series in that format just because um it, it was all kind of up in the air but as soon as they add like these npc gems which these are these are so much fun especially with the ai turned way up Ooh, thunder punch doing a lot of a lot of damage there um and we really didn't do very much at all. Let's go ahead and switch into Gaia. The Thunder Punch will uh, do nothing. There we go. Awesome. Uh, let's go for the Wood Hammer. There we go. Gigalith comes in. Last is Gorilla 43. Guy through Gorilla 47. I will take it. Gigalith is going to hang on with his Sturdy. Throws up the Stone Edge. Surf the Earthquake. But yeah. Um, these NPC gyms are kind of a, a game changer because, you know, people on the server are going to make their, their own gyms too. And I'm looking forward to, ooh, I'm looking forward to taking those on as well. But at the same time, um, I can come out here and we can explore and take on these gyms. And with the, especially with the AI turned up, it's actually a nice, fun little challenge sort of thing. Uh, so I'm, this is awesome. This is such a great addition to the game. I'm so glad that they went in and did this. Oh yeah, Blastoise wasn't really doing much against the Tyranitar, was he? Um, that one didn't seem to have uh, Thunder Punch, though, so we'll just keep going here. Ooh, Stonehenge did a lot of damage to Blastoise that last time. Maybe, maybe it didn't land the first time. It seemed like it did nothing, but that might have just been Sandstorm damage. Uh, Bastion comes in. Um, use, has an Air Balloon. Okay, so let's go ahead and... End water pulse this just to break his balloon um that way if we need to bring guy in she can use the earthquake if needed um it got confused by the water pulse all right that works and Lost. oh no it went ahead and used its move fought through the confusion water pulse finishing off the bastion we need to get a better water move for blastoise here um but uh but yeah all right but just just the designs of these all the gyms we've been in have just had cool designs even even aside from the uh the battles and everything um it's just Lost. been there we go there we go oh, oh, oh back down back down last voice versus another gigalith here um but yeah so i hope that um you guys who are on the server especially are enjoying the npc gyms um i i really am enjoying them a lot and i've got like an npc trainer at uh ooh, ooh. Nice. Oh, somebody saw us and just came after us oh oh, oh. yikes there we go. Down goes the Archeops. Hey, mate. Not cool. Not cool. Uh, you got to let me... Man, there's a, lot, there's a lot of trainers in here. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. A lot of similar Pokemon, though. So this gym probably going to use a little fewer trainers because we're getting a lot, you know, Bastions. And, I mean, obviously the fossil Pokemon are very cool. Um, and there's, you know, maybe not... I mean, they may be using the full variety of Rock-type Pokemon. But when a, when a lot of these guys have a lot of the same Pokemon... Um, you could probably do with a few few uh, a few fewer trainers but uh down goes the onyx hurting itself in confusion killing its own sturdy there fantastic uh right on let's, uh, let's get the camera i don't know how to move i don't know how to move closer to me but anyway that'll be that'll be good enough for now <laughs> down goes right on we've got a pseudo wudo in as well um let's just go to level 46 what iron defense choice. use your heart and spine so it's like iron so crazy um i could see that Lost. um let's go for pseudo wudo here pseudo wudo hangs on Ooh, uses wood hammer oh man nice little pseudo wudo there blastoise hung on we're gonna need a nickname for blastoise too while you guys are while you guys are pondering over it. Now I did, uh, I, I meant, well, I think I mentioned in the wedlock, I'm going to be doing a bit of pre-recording um, to make sure I've got content for this summer. Uh, summers, oop, I got a little close that time. Uh, summers are not good for me generally in terms of YouTube, um, in, in terms of just time to do YouTube. Um, oh, the scroll reel, scroll reel will get me closer. Okay. Well, there's Blastoise. Can we get a look? 
No, we're not going to get everything. Oh, there we go. Oh, Blastoise is in the frame now. Uh, okay, we're wasting a lot of time. Let's just fight the Aggron. Um, he was going to say, I could just kill the Aggron and the battle will be over, and then it doesn't matter. Great. Um, all right, am I actually getting money for this? Oh, yeah, I'm getting a decent amount of money now. Um, all right, let's battle you. Level 49. Lost. Okay. Archeops gets... Ooh, 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 Blastoise hung on! Oh, man! That's fantastic. Uh, Water Pulse. Gigalith hangs on, throws up the Rock Blast. Blastoise goes down for the first time. Gaia comes Ooh, in. Let's just throw an Earthquake. Finish it off. Eh, let's just finish it off with an Earthquake. No big deal. Uh, you love here. Um, holy Moses, there's so many. Ooh, Macargo, here we go. There's a new Pokemon. Uh, Blastoise can handle that pretty well. Uh, but yeah, okay. So many freaking trainers in this mine, guys. This is awesome. All right. I was, I was thinking, well, what are we going to do with the rest of the episode? Well, we'll go back to spawn and do something, but we may not have a rest of the episode. <laughs> but yeah, so my wife is a teacher. I started I started saying this and I didn't finish. My wife is a teacher. Um, and so that means she's not, she doesn't work during the summer, obviously. And usually I do most of my recording and stuff uh, when she's working. Um, and so that makes it a little difficult for me in terms of uh, YouTube uh, during the summers because um, usually I would come home for lunch and I would uh, do YouTube stuff then um, or I would come home after work and usually I would I would beat her home by you know a half hour or so and so that would give me time to do an episode or something there um, and all that kind of stuff um, but uh, if she's just home then I don't even have those little windows that I would normally have um, to get uh, stuff going so um, it makes it it makes it challenging to do YouTube during the summer because uh, I, I don't like to do that stuff when she's around uh, just because you know when she's around I want to be spending time with her and things like that um, and and you know it you know it, even even if I wanted to play video games um, or do YouTube stuff instead uh, it, it makes it challenging for me to be like oh yeah honey I just got home from work uh, I'll see you later I'm gonna go <laughs> Like sit at my computer and play video games by myself, uh, sort of thing. Like it's just it's just not something that uh, as a as a grown man who has wife supervision can really can really pull off. So um, gonna be gonna be pre-recording some of this stuff. Like I'm I am recording this episode right after the last episode, um, sort of thing. I, I saved that video out and then uh, and and then kind of jumped in with this one um, just because we've got some stuff. And I, I generally speaking. Um, I'm going to, you know, I, I like to do these, uh, I want to do this series mostly with my patrons, um, but that's not always going to be possible, but as, whenever I am able to do it, um, I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to, uh, to recording episodes of this with my patrons, but we've actually got some interesting, Oh, okay. So we're getting Giga Drain ourselves. So that's 75. I'm actually going to replace Woodhammer for now. We can always relearn it at some point, but I would rather not be killing myself. I'd rather let them do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and Giga Drain here. All right, so, uh, yeah, he's got the lucky egg. Let me swap these for now, uh, just so that uh, Torterra stops being so overleveled. Let's battle this guy here. Um, Corsola. Blastoise. Yeah, that doesn't really do a ton, huh? Okay, Blastoise is going to hang on. We're going to bring in Gaia, and uh, Gaia's going to take a Stone Edge. Able to heal that off a bit, throw up the Giga Drain. Finish off Corsola, heal ourselves back up. Some of these guys only have one Pokemon, so that works. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. Holy cow, guys. There are so many people. <laughs> this gym is just like an insane labyrinth. This is ridiculous. Like, it's almost like too much. <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun, but it's a, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, they really want you to, you re they really want you to earn this badge. Uh, but we're getting some great grinding on these two. These two were my two lower level Pokemon anyway. Um, so this will be good. Um, ooh, that X scissor. That, that hurt. Uh, so we defeated that guy. Heal up here a little bit. I know that's cheaty, but it, it's just for the purposes of recording. Um, okay. Where is this? Where's your gym leader? You have a gym leader, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and switch into Gaia. It's not worth messing around uh, with Corsla here. Gaia heals back up most of that with uh, the leftovers. Finishing off the course law there. Um, Dagger level 53. Earthquake. Ooh. Get uh, get it very close. Let's in fact bring Blastoise back in to finish this off. 
Because why not? Uh, let's just buy. Oop. Oh, he gained he gained some health at some point. Okay, I was, I was thinking we could just you know half-ass that, but no. Okay, uh, Shuckle then comes in. We'll water pulse the Shuckle. Shuckles are very defensive. Uh, gets the toxic off on Blastoise here. Uh, okay, one more, and we should. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ouch, Shuckle. It's probably infestation plus toxic damage. Um. Okay, are you the one I just battled? Yes. So we got you here. Um, got Aerodactyl. Need to get uh, need to get an ice move on uh, Blastoise here. That would probably be useful. All right, healing up. Man, if we had to run back and heal between every one of these battles, <laughs> that would that would take forever. Um, all right, so Caracosta versus Blastoise. Water Pulse. Not doing a ton there. It is confused. Blastoise needs the experience more than Gaia does, so we'll just we can finish off here, Costa. Oh man, no, we got a lot of a lot of water rock types, huh? All right, let's bring Gaia back in then. Um, and at least Blastoise will get credit for the Corsola and the Caracosta when Gaia finishes those off. Uh, there we go. Giga Drain here, looking fantastic. Relicanth. Oh yeah, so this is this is definitely a job for Gaia finishing off the Relicanth there. Okay. Whew. Are we getting close? Um, okay. Okay, this is this is an opening to the top, I think. I think this is the gym leader here. I just they did such a good job with these gyms. I'm really impressed. The the additions hold on, is this another No no no, this is this is just the village we were in. Okay. We looked so far away from up here. Um the the additions that they that have come to this mod since the last time I played it uh, are really awesome. Oh, it's a Tauros. Um, okay, all right. Um, let's make sure we're we're poke healed. Um, let's do it. Leads off with his Macargo. Let's throw up the water pulse. Macargo use protect or something? No, it shell smashed. Why? What happened? Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Macargo goes down. Tyranitar is. Um, yeah. Blastoise wasn't really going to be able to do much there. Let's bring in Gaia. Gaia will use the Giga Drain, which should heal her back up. Oh, ooh. Wow, Tyranitar's got some great special defense. I wouldn't have expected that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gaia hangs in there. Finished off Tyranitar. We're not going to finish this off, though. Kabutops is definitely going to kill Gaia before we get a chance to do anything about it. Yeah, okay. Yikes. Uh, okay, so these guys are now, though, um, so let's go ahead and poke a heal. And just to save us running down there, let's uh, let's throw one of these PCs here. Now, these guys are all in their 50s now, so that means uh, we can bring the likes of Heracross back out. Boots can actually potentially be useful. Um, I'm still going to leave, well, there's really not much Elizabeth, but she's not going to really bump, She, I mean, she's not going to bump it up at all, so we'll bring her... Um, and that'll be good for now. Um, and let's grab this back up. There we go. All right, let's give this uh, let's give this one more shot here. Uh, Blastoise. Uh, yeah, it was my cargo up front first. So yeah, let's bring in Blastoise. Throw up the water pulse. Okay, we take out the Macargo early. In comes the Rampardos. I trust Blastoise to be able to handle Blastoise. that reasonably well. Ooh. What was that a head smash? That really, that really hurt. Uh, let's bring in the hair cross here. Kabutops. All right, throw up the close combat there. Down goes Kabutops. Fantastic. Um, we do get a bunch of stat lowers from using close combat, but we do have the Moxie boost. Uh, but Aerodactyl is going to have something to wreck us with. Um, do I want to waste somebody switching, uh, switching him out? Uh, let's bring in Elizabeth. If Elizabeth gets wrecked, it's not such a big deal at this point. Let's throw up the, uh, Confused Ray. Aerodactyl became confused. Acrobatics. Oh, it does so little to the Aerodactyl. Um, but it hurt itself in confusion, so I'll take it. Venishark does a little bit of damage there. Um, it's almost like 
I can I accidentally click it twice and it actually registers it. Um, okay, let's start to confuse right here. We'll just let uh, Elizabeth do a little bit of work until one of these rock type Pokemon takes out the flying type. Uh, might as well throw up the Venusaur until we get a poison going or something. Okay, there's the rock slide. Down goes Elizabeth. All right. Um, let's use that as an opening to bring. Well, let's bring in Boots. Um, Boots does have Brick Break. Oh, it's so. I mean, she's only five levels off, but that's a third stage evolution versus a first stage. So that really makes it uh, makes it not very worthwhile to use boots in some of these higher tier battles anymore. That's really sad. Um, I probably will save boots for uh, for my gym or just giggles uh, for the most part. All right, Gaia comes in. It's Giga Drain off. Giga Drain off the Tyranitar. I will take it. Um, let's rip a curse, Terror. even. Goes with the curse. We heal up a bit. Giga Drain. Okay, guy survives it. Oh, Tyranitar did not die, unfortunately, though. Um, ugh, guy goes down. Crap. This leaves it all on hair across his shoulders. Um, let's go ahead and... Don't really want to use the close combat, but will this be enough? Yes, it is. Okay. So that's enough. We don't get the drops from close combat, but we do get the moxie boost. So that works out pretty nicely. Let's throw the close combat up here, finishing off the Gigalith. Um, and we won the battle. All right. 52 Poké Dollars. We get the Boulder Badge and Rollout. Don't mind if I do. So um, here we go. Another badge, another TM. We'll have to get... Oh, yeah, no, I don't have an Ender Chest with me, but we'll have to get those in at some point. Um, I already got the... Uh, the cords for this place, so uh, we're good to go. Um, I don't know if there's any good way for me to get down, so we're just gonna just gonna do it ourselves. There we go, fantastic. All right, well there we go, guys. I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I totally spaced on that being. Not, we didn't have enough time to to take that on as a gym uh, last time anyway. Uh, but I totally spaced on it being a gym. We were in this village, and I just didn't even. Uh, didn't even pay attention. Uh, so, I think that's gonna be it for today, though, guys. We've got, like, 27 minutes of just taking on that gym. Um, so lots and lots of battling today. Um, we will probably be doing something. I probably will wait and figure out something to do with my patrons, uh, for the next episode. Uh, for sure, since we've been doing, we did a couple of solo episodes here. Hey, a Blastoise. Uh, why don't we let, um, why don't we let Gaia take on, uh, take on Blastoise here. Let's throw up a Giga Drain. I'd love to find a Mega Blastoise. That may, that might be one of our goals uh, for an upcoming, upcoming episode. Now that we have a Blastoise of our own, if we can find and defeat a Mega Blastoise, uh, Prismarine Crystals, ah, not too bad. Uh, if we can find and defeat a Mega Blastoise, uh, then we can actually uh, we can actually Mega Evolve our own Blastoise. So that'll be cool. That'll be cool. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm not even going to attempt to take on either of these Mega Charizards I'm seeing flying around. Uh, that's just going to be, that's just going to be okay. Um, messing with my mini-map uh, there, I accidentally, uh, turned it off. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Really, uh, I've appreciated the support on this, both this series, and, uh, especially to my patrons who, uh, who make this server possible by, uh, by their monthly support, and they're playing on it as well. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. You guys are all awesome. Uh, and I'm very excited to continue this series with you guys going forward. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can uh, get something going with some of my patrons so it won't just be another solo episode. But I think we had enough exciting stuff going on just battling that gym uh, anyway. So uh, I think it works out all right. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys. And I will see you all back here next time on Patreon SMP. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.